so you guys probably seen recently that um, this game was made available for free in anticipation of the upcoming HD re-release of the game. Uh, I have played this game uh, somewhat. I know a number of my friends have played it a ton. I basically typed in all the cheat codes and otherwise couldn't get anywhere. So be prepared for something like that to happen. Um, it occurs to me I probably should not have the mic on the keyboard. So I'm going to reposition this quickly before we get too far. Sorry about the noise there. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's other arenas in which people can com um, compete with bots. Like Elon Musk's OpenAI platform, or gym, um, is an interesting platform for competing. I'm just going to try to see how far I can get with the original game. Ooh! Ooh, I get to enter a new character name. Uh, is this going to fit? Is this going to... Yes! Wow, this is from an era of games where you could specify really long usernames. Amazing. Terran Complain Incomplete. Terran Campaign Incomplete. Well. Um, in the decade since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago. A large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chusara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target would be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Boot Camp Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Nah, we're doing the tutorial, guys. We're doing it. Doing the whole nine yards. Click on Next Tip to advance through all available tips. Activate this help menu set at any time by clicking in the menu button and then choosing help. Units can be ordered to move, attack, gather resources, or repair other units and buildings automatically. With the unit selected, right click on the area where, target, where the action will be performed. To uh, toggle subtitles, no, you don't want to do that. You want the subtitles, man. Um, but go under the menu. The Terran Refinery, Zerg Extractor, and Protoss Assimilator must be constructed on top of the vast beam geyser before any gas can be extracted or collected. Most commands in the game tree have hotkeys. These are denoted by the highlighted letter in the text of the command button. To restart a mission, choose End Mission from the menu. Mission objectives may be viewed at any time by choosing Mission Objectives from the menu. Any Terran infantry units may be placed inside a bunker. While inside a bunker, they're shielded from attacks, but free to return fire. To load a unit into a bunker, select the unit and right-click on the bunker. Terran vultures may lay spider mines. Select a vulture unit, then select the mine button, and designate an area of ground as the target. Queue up to five units at the same time by selecting a building. The clicking on button on the unit you wish to queue. Terran marines and fire vats have stim pack upgrades. Stim packs have units attack range, or increase a unit's attack range and movement rate at a cost of 10 points per turn. At some missions, you must turn specific units to a particular location designated by a glowing point marker called a beacon. When building a Terran command center, Protoss Nexus, or Zerg Hatchery, try to place it as close as possible to resources. Uh, both the Terran Wraith and the Ghost have the ability to cloak, while cloaked they are immune or safe from attack unless spotted by enemy detection units. Cancel any unit in a queue by clicking on its icon in the construction pipeline display. Toggle the terrain information on and off by pressing tab on the main map. Terran dropships ferry units quickly between areas. Load dropships by selecting one or more units. Then right clicking on the dropship. Dropships are built to the starboard. 
Toggle the mini-map between team color identification and friend or four recognitions modes by pressing Shift-Tab. When using the Move command, your units will ignore enemy units as they travel to their destination. You can also use the Move command to retreat. Most Terran buildings can fly. Select the building and press the Lift-Off button. Press the button again to land. Um, move your units with the Attack command when you wish them to engage enemy forces along the way. You can adjust the sound music and speech on the sound menu, take over abandoned Terran add-ons by landing your own buildings next to them. You can adjust the game speed, mouse speed, and other speed settings in the speed menu, which is probably available from the menu menu. Um, um, in single player ba games, you can speed up or slow down with plus or minus. The Terran nuclear silo is an add-on to the command center to launch a nuclear attack, build a nuclear missile near the silo, it use a ghost team to designate a target. Deselect an individual unit from a group by holding the shift key while selecting that unit. To single out a unit from within a group, either select the individual unit or select the unit's wireframe from the status display. Missile turrets and science vessels reveal hidden units within their range. Comsat station briefly reveals hidden units anywhere on the map with the sensor speed. Load units into a transport using the move command. The transport will automatically move to meet the units. Um, unload units from a transport using the unload all button and selecting an unloading area. Unload an individual unit by clicking on its wireframe. All Zerg buildings must be constructed on creep, except for the hatchery and extractor. Creep can be created by building a hatchery or a creep colony. You may designate targets for your commands using the minimap. This way you can send units to distant locations without having to scroll the main screen. It's funny that I knew all of these things except this one. And the thing about unselecting units. Um, okay. Click and drag in the minimap to rapidly scroll your view in the main screen. Zerg hatchery can be upgraded to a lair and eventually a hive. Each allows you to build additional Zerg resources. Select a unit's previous group, hold the ALT key while selecting that unit. Save your game frequently. If you find yourself in a desperate situation, you can load, you can save scum, you can cheat. Zerg overlords can be upgraded to carry units uh, at the lair or hive. Once upgraded, you can use them as transporters. Um, use the campaign editor to build your own maps and edit unit variables. You can turn off responses in the sound menu. Zerg Queens have the ability to infest a severely damaged Terran command center. While well, infested, the command center is now a Zerg stretcher, capable of building infested Terrans that explode when attacking. The shift key lets you to chain together multiple commands. Hold the shift key while issuing commands. The unit will finish each task before proceeding to the next. You can use patrol to set up a patrol route for your units. While in patrol mode, your units will attack any enemy units they see. Most Zerg ground units have the ability to burrow. When burrowed, they cannot attack or be attacked unless detected. Stationary combat units are assumed to be on guard. If you see an enemy unit, they will automatically engage it. Uh, hold position command units will remain stationary even if attacked and will attack enemy units within their range. Zerg mutilisks can be transformed into a unit called a guardian. Once a spire is upgraded into a greater spire, all mutilisks automatically gain the ability to transform into guardians. You can set up convoys by selecting your escorts and telling them to move onto the units you want escorted. They will then follow the designated unit. Send messages to your opponent during multiplayer games. Press enter. Type your message. Press enter again. Zerg defilers have the ability to consume their own units. Every unit consumed uh, restores 50 energy points to the defiler. You can form alliances during multiplayer games using the Diplomacy button on Command Console. During multiplayer games, allies achieve a shared victory only if all surviving allies have selected allied victory. Use the Plague spell to severely damage any unit or building. Um, it will cause up to 300 points of damage to the target, but not kill the target. Um, in multiplayer game, allies can share their Fog of War information on the Diplomacy menu. Control S will toggle sound on or off. Control M will toggle music on or off. Zerg Scourge can be set on patrol or automatically attack all air units that come near. To surrender during a campaign or multiplayer game, use the surrender button in the options menu. 
goodness knows why Surrender would be in the options menu, but okay. Uh, Zerg Queen's Ensnare spell and the Defiler's Plague spell can be cast on cloaked units to allow other units to target them. Um, oh, okay, I see. Um, keep the path between the command center and available resources clear. Obstacles slow the rate at which resources can be collected. All Protoss buildings, except the Nexus, must be built within the energy field of Mylon. To save your current position on the map, press Shift F2. Oh. Okay. So you can remember locations on the map. I've forgotten this. Uh, Protoss Reavers attack by firing explosives, scarabs at their targets to build scarabs. Press the Build Scarabs button. Different units are designed to work together and support each other. Combinations are more effective than a force composed of a single unit type. Protoss probes can build multiple buildings at one time. Once a building warp has been started, the probe can move on to a new task. Hold down control while selecting units to select all units of the same type within your view. That's like tip number 50. That should probably be like tip number 2. Use Psionic Storm to damage all units in the spell's area of interest. It's devastating against a tight formation of enemy units. Double click a unit to select all units of the same type within the review. Protoss Templars have the ability to transform into a powerful farting unit called the Archon. Um, yeah, use Archon Warp. Pressing spacebar will center the screen at a location of your last transmission. Use Hallucination to make multiple holograms of a single unit. Use them to scout and draw enemy fire as decoys. To save your currently selected groups of units, Press Control 1. To return, you can recall that group at any time by pressing 1. You can save up to 10 groups in this manner. This also works for buildings. Protoss observers are great for scouting. They remain permanently cloaked and can detect hidden units. In the multiplayer game, pressing Shift Enter sends your message to all, message to all players. Uh, Protoss carriers attack by launching small interceptors that swarm the target. To build interceptors, select the carrier and press the Build Interceptors button. In a multiplayer game, press a Control Enter sends a message that is exclusive to your allies. The Protoss Arbiter cloaks all nearby units, although the Arbiter itself remains visible. Arbiters cannot cloak each other. Units caught in an Arbiter's stasis field can neither attack nor be attacked for the duration of the spell. Um, Protoss Arbiters can use Recall to instantly teleport units to their location. In Greed and Slaughter multiplayer games, uh, leaderboards displays the current leader. Press Ctrl R to tile displaying between the leader and displaying all players. Click on the Next Tip button to cycle through all available tips. You can activate this help menu anytime by pressing the Help menu, going to the menu, and choosing Help. Units can be ordered to. No, okay. We've gone around. Whew! Well, I think we understand um, the game. I hope you were following all that. All right, so... Uh, am I memorizing all this? No. I know most of this already. I just thought it would be an entertaining way to introduce the game. It's certainly a novel one, because nobody else is going to go through and do what I just did, which was clicking the next tip to cycle through all the available tips, like it told me to do. I did it. That should be a Steam achievement or something. Alright, so... T2A, the SCV, is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. Not enough minerals. I read you. Oh man. I, I forgot, you could actually replace the audio files in this game. Additional supply depots required. Oops. Oh, we need to build. 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 Build! There's build. Not enough minerals. Okay, go get some minerals then. We need like a hundred minerals, cause you know. Yeah. Here. Here, let's go take these marines. 
go to that corner of the map. You guys go to the lower right corner of the map. Go have fun. Oh, I use the attack command, but I told the guys to march to the corners of the board. At least I think I did. We'll see how they do. You can always build more. Here, you guys go to the center. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This is the tutorial. We can't possibly fail the tutorial. Oh, I lost my guys in the corner. That's unfortunate. Um, we still can't lose the... Alright. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we don't need a supply depot anymore. <laughs> Screw that. Alright, um... In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. <laughs> no, we don't! SCVs to build additional supply depots. Okay. But, sure, you want me to build some supply depots? We can do that. Uh, mini-map. I mean, I shouldn't, like, scroll over here and scroll back and scroll back again. I should, like, use the mini-map. I should probably pay more attention. Alright, does it want me? You can do it, buddy. Okay, that didn't end well. Well, we tried. Um, wait, does escape not bring up the menu? Uh, end mission. Let's restart the mission, and this time actually try. The T2A SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Yeah, but I've lost like half my marines. Numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. Oh, is right click move? I thought right click was attack. Oh, I have to actually click a unit with the attack command to attack. Okay, so right click, despite the fact that the tip said that right click was attack, that really only pertains to um, right click on an enemy unit. Um. Yeah, no. Uh, whoops. Okay, you go get some minerals. You must construct additional pylons. Need more Vespine gas. Um, so on and so forth. Now, there's something down here in the tutorial, right? You guys, like, not stand back there on the plan. Oh, there's nothing over here. I thought there was something worth exploring down here. Apparently not. Alright. Yeah, no, it looks like this game you actually have to click on an enemy unit to move and attack. 
There's no simple just move. Yeah, you guys need to take turns being in front. Oh wait, have I explored most of the map already? Alright. Um, yeah, let's deplete these fields. Uh, in the meantime... Yeah, if I send those guys pathfinding, they actually, like, I click on the ground down here. And they know to go all the way around, and then back up, because that's how to get to that point on the map. Pathfinding in this game is really clever. Oh. Let's move. Yeah, no, for the tutorial, I'm not doing any microwing. That's not gonna happen. Joe Bob there is just gonna have a bad day. Alright, whoops. Um, but yeah, no, let's build some more SCVs, I guess. Unless the tutorial wants me to do something different. I thought the tutorial was... I don't know. Do I get a victory condition in the tutorial but after I kill everything? Here we go, we got more supply depots. Um, Alright, you're gonna build me... I don't know. So you're just gonna go mine stuff. So yeah, I appear to have killed everything on the map. I thought that the tutorial had, like, mission. Mission objectives. Uh, build a refinery. So... oh, this is where I would build the refinery. Here, go build it. And then build some supply depots and stuff. Do I have insufficient minerals to build this? No. no I'm good. I think I needed to build one more supply depot. Yes, sir. So I have to have a hundred minerals to get me a supply depot. We're almost there. Seventy-four, eighty-two, ninety. The process is raw gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Not enough minerals. Oh, we have to collect a hundred gas also. Alright. I still don't understand how a magistrate is to restore order in this kind of environment, where everything seems so chaotic. It seems like a rather large task. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara Base. Yeah! I was victorious over that Vespine geyser. Alright. Let's get a unit count. Produced and lost 16 units. Um, did succeed in killing three of my units, so well done, game. I built six structures and collected the most resources.
And it only took me six, seven minutes. Wasteland. Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara. Agitate online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chow Sa colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces, Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You are to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Oh, you don't know that. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Ooh, a wasteland. How pleasant. Commander, rock and roll. Outstanding. Go, go, go. Let's move. Rock and roll. Let's move. Outstanding. Let's move. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rainer, Marshal of these parts. Oh, all right. That was a really brief introduction. I was Control One to, if I like. Now if I select one unit and I type, okay, yeah, I can efficiently do a multi-select. Oh yeah, this should be good. Man, I wish I could get, like, a higher resolution of this game. Which actually makes me wonder, like, I'm playing this game in some resolution and streaming it at 720p. There's... I doubt that the original game was 720p. What do I know? So I'm kind of curious um, what resolution I'm playing this game at and what's the actual resolution of um, the game. Just the original. Right, we're gonna send in the SCVs to attack first. It's, see, only Jim has to survive, so he's gonna like lurk in the back here while my SCVs lead the charge. Because that's the efficient way to do it. Oh yeah, we've got the low ground, which is bad. No, 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 SCV, why'd you go that way? Shouldn't have done that. Wow, thankfully these Zerg are pretty bad at pathfinding. Um, Alright, we'll shoot you guys. Oh wow, we don't have ranged weapons, apparently. Um, oh yeah. Let's shoot this guy. As long as Jim survives, that's what really counts. Also, did I leave? Oh, this is where I should have been going. So, yeah, I just totally abandoned the buildings to the south. I was having too much fun taking out whatever lives in this barren plain. Um. Wait, have I not secured this target? Okay. 
Apparently I've already encountered this or something. Um... So, I'm not sure what it means by liberate, but I guess I'm going to hang out here. Yeah, 640 by 480 sounds right. I guess I'm just going to... I mean, is there nothing else to do down here? Alright, Jim, scout the area. So, you can build stuff if you want to. Um, sure, let's build a barracks right next to the uh, command center. Still, like if I'm playing this game in uh, 640 by 480, I'm not streaming it at that resolution, so I'm streaming it like one and a half times that. Um, Alright, let's build a supply depot over here ish. We're going to liberate this colony. All the way into the whatever century that we're currently in. Infantry units such as Marines can be trained at this facility. Okay, that's what I thought, is that we had to obtain additional marines. Not enough minerals. In a longer game, you'd want to build more than one barracks. Not enough minerals. Got five of ten, we need to build three more, or five more. Which is two more than the three I have queued. You want a piece of me, boy? It's like use the M key to queue these up too. You want All right. A piece of me, boy? Do I want a piece of him? Slow this down, or speed it all the way up. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Let's see, what are all my speed options? So if I like hit minus, oh, I can't actually do that from the menu. I could actually check though, like video options. Um, <laughs> enable FPS cap. Ooh, I don't know about FPS cap. Ooh, we better we better allow that to max out. You know, for these super awesome animations. Why cap it at 150? Uh, let's turn that back on. Ah, 12 is the magic number then. Alright.
Yeah! That was a glorious victory. Alright. Backwater. Office of the Colonial Magistrate. Marsara. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. What's up, man? What's up? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Oh, well that's nice. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now, do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Trust you? What if, what if I don't want to trust you? What if, like, see, the mission objectives say the Rainer must survive? What if I don't want Rainer to go in? What if I just want to send in everybody but Rainer? I mean, that's not something I want to do. Oh yeah. It's totally time to kick some serious butt and not just, like, max out on units. Set my rally point to this mineral field here. Um, which I think sets it to automatically mine the minerals. I could be wrong. Good to go, sir. Please tell me you're going to mine. No. You're just going to lurk there. Fine. Set my rally point down here then. Um, meanwhile... Not enough minerals. Hmm, that's too bad. Yeah, the storyline is impressive. The storyline is certainly going to outpace my gameplay. I don't know. I think the game did age well, even with the delay between releases. I mean, I guess you're saying they could have made more money or something if they came out with more releases faster. And that wouldn't be wrong, but... Um... So, we got plenty of these guys. Uh, control 1 to make that group 1. Uh, okay, so where can I start exploring? Oh, up here. So, Vespian Geyser. Uh, why don't I build one of these structures? Let's build a refinery up here. Okay, group one, just keep exploring. Sounds fun. Right on. This should be good. This should be good. Oh yeah. You want a piece of me, boy? Set the rally point up on the hill here. Um Let's go join these guys up here. Nice. Let's make that group one. 
Group Six. one, go attack this single Zergling. There we go. Can you guys not shoot from the crest of the hill here? No, apparently not. That's too bad. Yeah, I think we do need a refinery to build more cool stuff. Um, so we built a refinery. Could build a engineering bay. If I remember right, this engineering bay offers some kind of tech tree advantage. Let's go back. Such as like armor, if I remember right. This is one of the things you can research. Okay. Slowly navigate our way up the edge of the board. And then advance with everybody at once. Oh, nice. Wait, you guys have been... Why haven't you guys been, like, mining stuff? Comsat station. Sure, why not? Oh, Comsat must be communication satellite. All right, so one and two. One and two, two and one. Slamming? Do I have any fighting units back here? And I should probably build a couple more then. Um, so let's build infantry armor. And then over here, this allows me, yes, to sweep an area. So I could see, like, what's around here. Um, oh, hey, look. Got some more advanced Zerg units. Just around the corner. Okay, you guys are now here. You want something to shoot? Here's something to shoot. You go fight that thing by on your own. The other 12 of us are going to go fight uh, for a good cause. I suppose I shouldn't have complimented the pathfinding of this game as highly as I did. Um, Your forces are under attack. Ah, he'll be fine. Right on. Maybe.
Alright guys, have fun fighting your little melee stuff. Hopefully that engineering bay alert researches armor in time. If not, you guys just might be hosed. They need to research faster. Really, they do. Um, rally point's gonna be over here. Actually, you could set the rally point directly on the vehicle. Uh, which would make a lot more sense than what I did. Alright. Um, this should be safer to attack. Blow up the creep colony because we can. Yeah, not the best micro. But hey, we got a macro game that's not too terrible. Um, jeez. How long does it take them to research stuff? Um, extended attack range. Probably would have helped a long time ago. Alright. Guys, help him out a bit. There we go. Oh, luring in units would be a reasonable strategy. What the hell do they do to that command center? Whatever it is, it ain't natural. Burn it, boys. Oh, Confederates are gonna love this. I'm just blowing up a command center, that's all. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can repair vehicles. There we go. Victory. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Rayner, by destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standard colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. Sweet. Just you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been over. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time to get there. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now, throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a Confederate if you weren't a complete baby ass. Well, that was a pleasant conversation. And constructive. Um in which Raynor calls out the Confederates for taking time to, you know, get from one planet to the other. And, um, you know, the Confederates say blowing up our buildings isn't very cool, man. Ooh. Perimeter Patrol. Confederate Border Colony. Well, nothing could possibly go wrong in this cutscene. Not gonna lie, being on border patrol on an enemy planet, or hey, I don't know. we always gotta listen to this shit for anyway. Cause I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, I don't see that no good character. Who are these guys? Hey, what's that? Hold on, wait a second. Yeah, you might not want to get out of the vehicle. Looks like you mashed some poor fella's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. Uh, <laughs> out his far, Lester. Oh, shit. GG. I love you, Sarge. 
Yeah, getting out of the vehicle, not a very good idea. I'd be like, oh shit, I'm going back. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Uh oh. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn friend world yokels are all alive. Mm. Where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue huh? to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. <laughs> Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arthurus Manx, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down an element of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. Of course, the organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to Time make to a stand. stand Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuate all Distress beacon activated at twelve twenty. Now, th this is where things get kind of serious. Um, you know how I mentioned earlier that I might have been using cheat codes to beat the game. That kind of started with this mission, if I remember right. If I remember right, I played this like five or ten times or something. And just got completely obliterated every time. Um, so that's how the addiction to cheat code started, if I remember right. And maybe I don't. Maybe somehow I did make it through this by some miracle. Um, the attack waves do ramp up throughout this mission. I do not expect I will succeed at this, despite it being like the second real level in the game. So, yeah, you, it's, it's really hard. I hope that when they re-release the game, they do something about the difficulty curve, because it's just absolutely brutal. Um, hey, this thing's on fire! You ought to send an SCV out here to repair it. You fix my bike up to you while it's at it. Oh, okay, we'll fix your bike. Right away, sir. Um... But yeah, more important, where are my other SCVs? We need to be mining stuff. Alright, we've got a bunker here which you can occupy. Wait, can you? Oh, he's out of minerals. Uh, shit. Mine some minerals, dudes. That's, this did not start well. I want to start the mission over. Is that okay? Uh, we're going to retry this. This time, fixing the damn fire thing. Occupy the bunker, occupy the bunker. Um, okay, we've got the vulture. Um, you guys stand up here somewhere. Um, increase. Oh, I don't have enough Vespine gas either. Is there a geyser anywhere? Here's a geyser. Um, oh, you're a vulture. You're not an SCV. 
Wait, where's my SCV? Oh, here he is. SCV, I want you to build a ref Oh. A refinery costs a hundred. Alright. So... So much cool stuff we could research. Um, Alright, just keep mining stuff. Keep mining. And um, we'll build a refinery soon, and then from that we'll be able to build other useful stuff. But I'm still not at 12 SCVs. Wait, I'm at 29 of 34 capacity. Oh, could I lift off? Um, I guess not while I'm building something. In general, can I lift off and place it closer? Probably not. There's a limit to how close you can place the building. Um, but that's not a bad idea. Um... Alright, I could send one of my guys up to this bunker. Um, send some of these guys up to up here. Um, and... See, go up here, get some more minerals. Job's finished. I'm gonna need you to start collecting gas. to regain your hit points and then go back out there. Okay, so now I can start researching stuff like increased. No, I'm very close to being able to research attack shells. There we go. Um, can we build another research station? Is this is a Terran Academy. Yeah, let's take you build another academy down here. Set our rally point for this bunker. Um, Something on your mind? Let's see.
okay, here's... I could use the mini-map to target stuff, too. Supply Depot. Um. Oh, I did not realize this upgrades would research so quickly. Okay, well, never mind. That was a waste to build an extra building then. I thought there was going to be more on the tech tree. I misremembered what this game offers. Um. Additional supply depots required. I can't even lift off the academy. That sucks. Whatever. We've learned something from it. Um. Nope. Let's build another supply depot out here. And then start building some turrets and stuff out this way. Let's build a missile turret. Um, no, not there. Let's build it here. Oh, supply depot's in front of the bunkers. Alright. Um... You two can go up here. You two can come back this way. Um, my job's finished. Probably meaning this here. Um, I don't think I need a factory, honestly. Um, but some turrets will help. If there's enemy aircraft, and maybe there isn't. Um, <sighs> oh, okay, yeah, I guess extra SCVs would not hurt. Nope, I'm not going to give you anything to shoot. Alright, so we survived 10 minutes. Your forces are under attack. Here, let's take a couple of these fire bats, yes. put them over this way. You got it. Um, you're gonna build a supply depot. Oh, I see, supply depots are cheap, so that's why it makes sense to build them like on your front walls. Um, I also see that fire bats are the same cost as marines, um, except they cost extra Vespian gas. And Vespian gas is something I have plenty of. I 
I think one time I played this map. One time I played this, I did attempt to. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, you look injured. Stand back here a little bit. Huh. It turns out I did remember a thing or two. How about that? Um... I've actually got turrets there as well. It's just one place I don't have them is this close to my base. Yes. Yes. Slam. All right, so. Can you go up the ramp and then stand on the platform? Alright. Oh, I don't have spider mines. I have to research them. I have to build a factory to research spider mines. Um... I should have been researching stuff the engineering bay. This does take forever to generate. How expensive is an engineering bay? It's about the same price as a bunker. Yeah, let's stick one in front here. I'm sorry, it's about the same cost as a, um... Oh, we depleted the Vespian Geyser. Okay. So while they will continue go mining gas, they're not going to get it as quickly as they used to. Your forces are under attack. Uh, I should be building more... Uh, Marines. Sitting my rally point somewhere up here. Yes. Let's burn. Naturally. I should also build more bunkers, really. Jobs finished, meaning he built this turret. Now, where'd he go? Oh, I'm sorry, he built the other thing. Um, let's build a bunker. I've got room for one right here. Oh, another SCV in that vicinity. We're gonna build another bunker right over there. Not particularly. Ha! <laughs> Number five doesn't get to stay in the bunker. Turtle really hard here. Um, let's build another supply depot out there. You know, just in case I do happen to get enough units that it makes a difference. Um, I really don't expect that to happen, but. You 
just hang back here. Just in case you're needed. Actually, you could just go mine stuff, and I can always take you from mining to there if you need it. Alright, um... Um... Oh, you guys... You guys stand here. You guys stand there. Um... Set my rally point over here now. And, yeah, just keep... More and more, you guys. Sky's the limit. I might actually survive this time, I say. I still doubt it. But I actually did upgrade my stuff, to my credit. Float the barracks and place that in the way. Your forces are under attack. That was his choice to go out there. I wouldn't have done that if I were him. Alright, let's keep building stuff. can't afford a factory and all the stuff that goes with that. Um, no, we can build another turret, though. Um, just give the enemies one more target that isn't a person. And then, meanwhile, um, maybe I do start building a few, uh, what's these? Marines. So I can put perch them up atop here so they can keep shooting. You don't think I have enough turrets in the center. That's probably true. Uh, you know, this one turret's not going to hold off everything. I suppose I can't rely on the game to be merciful. Okay. No 
settle down back here. I know you guys love to attack stuff, but um, you're actually of a lot of value not immediately dying. Alright. Um, Ten minutes until dropship arrival. Um, so if I do end up doing this mission again, maybe I build a second barracks and not so many research stuff because the attack doesn't happen until apparently T minus 10 minutes. Okay, I'll go repair that dude. My bunker's fine. My bunker's fine. Another bunker would probably not be a bad idea. I don't think I can build tanks, and even if I could, I don't have the resources for it. You stand over here. So stuff is about to go down. And the loss of a few resources pales. Uh, oh, really? Taking pot shots at my station, are you? Oh, you guys, go stand over here. And for gosh sakes, please hold the position this time. Marines on the center platform. Alright, do I have Marines located somewhere? Okay, I've got a couple. Uh, let's put them over here. Are you serious? More supply depots? I've got plenty of... Um, uh, at least my supply is not the problem. Um, shoot, where'd my SCV go? Oh, can he not get around? Never mind, he's not succeeding in building there. Just build it over here then.
build factories, but I'm, I won't have time to build anything out of the said factories. Um... Like, there's only five minutes left on the game timer. Yeah, no, this is a survival mission. Five minutes until dropship arrival. This is when the wave, I believe, seriously hits. Unless I'm confusing this badly with a, a different mission. But, um... I fully expect to get killed any instant here. Leave my SCV like here somewhere. You got my attention. Call that group one. You want to raise a baby boy? Base is under attack. So, um, I just remember the game just absolutely piling on the attack uh, around this point. Like, it's not supposed to be something you can survive like I'm doing here. Um... I mean, I could get flanked on the corner of the map, I just really don't expect the AI to do that. Let's put a turret out right in front of everything. Oh, assuming I can get there, which it looks like I can't. Oh, oh no, he made it. Well done. There's a ton of minerals here. That's an insane mineral patch. Alright, you guys go stand over here. Okay, so... The horde overrunning your position isn't this mission, then. I just remember, like, I survived that... Well, I used some cheat code of some sort for that mission, but I ended up surviving it with, like, one building left. It was absolutely... carnage. Not really any other word to describe it.
for a drop ship arriving. Yeah, I'm thinking that accepting assistance was a good decision. What's amazing is that, like in AI games, um, the micromanagement is just, like, way ridiculous. Um, like the... oh. Well, okay. That, things got quiet all of a sudden. Um, somehow I survived that. Ha! <laughs> One Zerg's looking at this, he's like, nope! And he walks the other way. And now he's taking a long route. He's gonna walk around the other side and then be like, nope, all over again. Um, which is unusual for a Zerg. I don't know. There's so many minerals there. We might want to stay a little bit. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they lost almost all their units. Interesting. I expected a different count here. Whatever. The Jacobs installation. Office of the former Colonial Magistrate. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. You think? Marsara is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. Confederates are abandoning the planet. Wow. And so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapons schematics that you can find in their networks. With the huh. chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. Alright. That does sound exciting. Um, but this has been an exciting session already. And um, between this and prior technical difficulties, I'm a bit exhausted. So I'm going to call it here. I apologize for those uh, looking forward to um, this mission. We will pick up with this soon, but I can't take it right now. We'll save this for next time. Um, so yeah, hope that was fun. Normally I say hope that was educational, except I'm not sure that that could really apply in the context of this game. At least not just yet. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. And um, look forward to playing through more of this soon. Uh, in anticipation of the re-release, which I think is coming up sometime soon. Don't know the exact date, but you guys probably all know all the details. Um, so, yeah. Hope it was fun. Take care. And I'll see you next time.